Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing another uh, mythological goddess. This is uh, Gulbig, the Nordic um, mythological goddess. She was a very travel maker type of goddesses. She was always creating fight between uh, gods until they get fed up of her and throw it in a fire. Well, this where it comes, all this effect that I created in here. But she woke up the fire, they threw her up to three times and she woke up all the fire the three times and we start calling her a hate i think she was giant mystical type of goddesses there's not too much known about her i saw different illustrations about her and i mix them all together i create this unique look a little more like a warrior warrior effect so well let's get started with these gulvic goddesses We're gonna start by going through a little bit what I've done in my hair. I just pull up the crown part of my head away and I just sprayed a few odd bunches of hair just in different sides. And then the front part, this crown part, I just back come in and spray her spray in it to create kind of a bump. Very type of this kind of um, Nordic look. Also, I twist some of my bunch of hair with hairspray. I put this necklace on uh, as a hairband. And that's it. Now I'm gonna start by applying a foundation to just cover my entire face and it'll have a little lighter shade. Now I'm gonna use these four of these three um, cold undertone shades. They are kind of grayish brown. I'm gonna start with the softer, applying all over my lid and blending into the crease. Next one is uh, similar to this one, but a little um, darker. I'm gonna be applying just on the lid and blending. Both of these shades, they're gonna go also on the bottle lash line. The last one is going to be a black, all three of them they're matte. Going to be applied just on the upper lash line and blend the cut. I'm not going to be a curling my lashes and apply mascara. Just going to be applying a little bit of cold pencil on the upper lower waterline and create my eyebrows in a very straight type of shape. And then I'm going to contour just a tiny bit. Next, going to be taking the cream colors. I'm going to start with this brownish yellowy shade and apply it on the temples of the area. On my face, just a tiny bit this line. Then with the reddish brownish shade, I'm gonna be applying next to it and blending together the connection and just around the eye. And I'm gonna be applying any other color in this area, just on the central. All the eyes, I'm gonna be applying black and create kind of a go around type of shape. And then from the upper part, just between the eyebrows, I'm gonna be applying a little bit of yellow and blending up a tiny bit. This is my recreation. You could go whatever you feel like you want to do. Next is going to be taking this brownish shade also in a very reddish kind of uh, shadies. I don't know. Well, I'm going to be creating this um, cross kind of stuff. Uh, uh, thicker on the central and thinner on the way out. I'm going to be adding a few black dots around the makeup. I'm going to create this line from the bottom la um, lips to the chin. And it goes a little thicker on the chin and a few dots. Exercise lipstick by Calvin D. And that's it. Now I'm going to be creating the burn effect. For that, I'm going to be taking just a liquid latex, add a little layer with my finger, apply a little bit of cotton on it, and apply another layer of liquid latex. You don't need nothing more than just that. Liquid latex, cotton, and another layer of liquid latex. You can apply everywhere you want and leave it to get dry. <laughs> Now, once you're happy in this dry, I'm gonna move to cream colors. I'm gonna start with this dusty rose all over the area. Also, a little farted out just to make a, like an irritation area. Now, I'm gonna take a darker shade, a little more uh, reddish brown. And with a smaller brush, I'm gonna be adding in some of the areas, mostly where the um, uh, more bumps are. And then I'm gonna switch to black and do exactly the same in some different areas. These three colors together will give that 3D effect very realistic for the brand. Once I have all applied, I'm gonna take a wider brush and just blend it a little bit all together. And that's it, we're done. Simple. Well guys, I hope you enjoy this different type of goddess. 
pronoun as I was saying it's gonna be different type of goddess I'm gonna do Celtic I'm gonna be doing a Indian so many different ones far from the Greek and Roman that we used to see so you're gonna find the list of pro that I used to create this look on the bar below with the rest of the goddesses I've done so far leave me a comment telling me which one you want me to do and if you like this one here you had a direct link to subscribe to this my special effect channel and the previous goddesses which is the Mexican and my social media I would really appreciate if you give thumbs up to this video if you liked it that let me know that you liked it and also help me to grow on the channel and that made me really happy as always thanks so much for spending some time with me be happy and see you next one